144 of the Army Think Bang podcast. I am Jam. Jess. And how are we doing this week? Um, I mean, there hasn't been too much going on, you know, like, uh, just really nothing. I've been... I like, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Just straight chilling for now, anyway. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I uh found out earlier this week since the beginning of the year i have read i think it was what 19 books wow damn and girl in two months basically that, i've read like crazy. 19 books oh my god i'm on a roll hopefully i can keep that roll going yes uh i've also you. started uh i guess interviewing i had like one interview but uh hopefully it pans out yeah Hopefully. Hopefully, crossing fingers. Hopefully, crossing fingers and toes. You know, <laughs> my toes can't do that, but in yes. in spirit they do. But otherwise, uh, my back hurts, so I guess I'm old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, both of us are going to a cup sleeve event. Uh, Hell yeah! On Saturday <laughs> yep. for uh soap, obviously because it's uh, my boy mid March right now, so. Yes, I'm looking so much forward to it. I, like, we talked about this, but I love cup sleeves. I love, like, going and hanging out with all my friends and just, like, yeah, it, taking it's taken in. me a while to, like, getting accustomed to the, like, fellow armies in my area. Because, I mean, it's going to be, like, technically my third. So, yeah. like, I go, I, like, talk with some of the people. I, I'm a little shy introvert. It's just because when I'm comfortable, then I get the way that I am. Yeah, yeah, and The yeah. way that you guys see me every week. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I'm in an environment where I'm comfortable and I know people. Yeah. But, um, so I, I don't stay very long, like, for now. Uh, but also because I am dragging my husband with, <laughs> with me. But I've been enjoying them so, so much. And I mean, like, also just discovering new drinks every time I go. Uh, it's yes. so nice. Oh, uh, it's so nice. I love it. So I'm so excited. Uh, did yours have a theme or is just, like, soap in general? Uh, I think it does have a theme. The cup sleeves themselves haven't been revealed yet. So I don't know what the theme is, but I guess I'll find out on Saturday. Yeah. Um, last year, I think it was a uh, picnic with soap, I think Ooh, was the theme. That's so, so cute. I'm assuming it's going to be like something spring themed. Yeah. Ours is a uh, strawberry farm. Which of strawberry farm. Come on. I love strawberry. <laughs> that's such a good, honestly, BTS being associated with fruit is like some of my favorite stuff. But it's like... also like the fact that okay. it's like currently it's just like today, right now it's 16 degrees here. Yeah. It's so it's like, too. it's pretty warm and has been like mm-hmm. on and off for the past couple weeks yeah 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 and so it just really brings that spring vibe yeah so i'm i'm really excited i'm looking forward to it like i will oh, oh, uh, as usual we'll post yeah on our story so make sure to you'll <laughs> yeah, have think... two for you'll have two for one well, this week because we're I both think... attending on the same day yeah because i think this is the first time that the events that we've attended have been on the same yeah, day on the same day uh usually, usually they're not. like <laughs> one week apart or yeah, something yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so uh we'll make sure to uh properly say who's who <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll have to not forget to say who's who yeah <laughs> put the location so people know that it's like no because we're yeah. not in the same spot like we're not in all. the same city at all so <laughs> not even in the same country at this point um yeah so. yeah i swear i swear like <laughs> At one point, I'll be able to go celebrate your birthday with you. One day. It was supposed to happen, and then COVID, and then... Yeah, you know, stuff and things. So, you know. But this week, we have... I mean, it's a smaller episode. Like, yeah. stuff has been announced, so we got to talk about it. Uh, but yes. otherwise, just chilling, just chatting, hanging out. Yeah. It's a, it's a chill... It's a chill week. Early March, you know? Um, so let's start with our, the one and only leader of BTS, because that man, um, came to Weverse and not only was replying, but made, like, almost, like, 
a hundred plus replies. Okay, because and he was go- I was getting those notifications so fast. I was so trying fast. to watch a video on my phone. Yeah. And yeah. I kept having to fucking, I was I, about to disable the notifications. I was like, I, Namjoon, I love you so much. <laughs> At first, I thought it was TXT. Because yeah, because they comment they, a lot. And I yeah, have they, those They comment a lot. lot and they Good Lord. comment in clusters, like, yes. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was for sure that it was one of the members of TXT. And then to me, just mm-hmm. read the name and be like, oh, shit. It's Junie. Junie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Junie stopped by, and also Jimin stopped by as well to say hello and to tell us that he's doing good and also commenting on a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, him and uh, Namjoon just, like, straight chilling. Yeah, these two are, like, always visiting at the same time. I love it, and Hobie also came to visit as well at one point. Um, <gasps> okay, did you see that we're... Okay, where's my phone? <laughs> and Jin... <laughs> also came to visit as well speaking of Jin, because we are on the single digit countdown let's go let's go 98 days don't don't mind the the title at the top <laughs> 98 days that's what i was gonna say i was like we're under three digits we're under our three digit number we're heading into double digits and i'm so excited when he's when he posted d100 i almost like lost my mind i was like i'm gonna cry he's almost done he's i'm already emotional. like three months away can you imagine the first live when he's out and like i'm gonna cry if, if it's not an Egyptian, i'm gonna I'm cry crying. I'm, I'm gonna be mad and i'm gonna be crying at the same time yeah i'm, I'm gonna be mad but i'm gonna be so happy <sighs> simultaneously i just I'm sat so on my monitor happy well so i posted on my like uh my personal instagram account about that and all of my friends were like are you okay <laughs> no and i was like no the answer to that question is hell nah i'm not okay I am so looking forward to having our boys Okay, but also, look at it this way. We're almost three months away from when the last four members went into the military. No. It's going by so fast. It's going by so fast. We're already in March. It's wild, guys, how fast this year has gone by. Like, I can't even believe that we're almost at the end of March. Like, gosh, it's just... It's almost my dad's birthday. (laughs) It's wild up in this. It's next Monday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad Jan. Hey, Jan Dad. Dad. Hey. Um, we also, okay, so members' birthdays have been lately, we've been getting a lot of surprises for members' birthday. Oh so Hobie released Hope on the Street, and Yoongi also released, we're going to have D-Day, the final, in theaters. In theaters. In theaters. So April 10th and 13th are going to be the dates. Um, there yeah, is... I'm going to try and drag my husband to go and watch that one. It's like, we're going to the movies. Thank you. Just, just don't say anything else. Um, so there <laughs> is a link I put in the description uh, where you can find all the information to sign up for more updates on it. Uh, we'll probably get, like, the actual, like, theater release dates soon. So that yeah, we can, isn't like, book the tickets pre- and stuff. I think the pre-order is, like, this weekend, isn't it? I think so. Wasn't it, like, March 12th when I checked? Yeah, so, so like, either this weekend or, like, next week, I think, is when we're going to be allowed to buy tickets for the event. And it'll be the final. Tickets on sale March 12th, 8 a.m. PT, 11 a.m. ET, 3 p.m. GMT, 10 p.m. ICT. Perfect. There we go. There you go. So the 12th, so next Tuesday is going to be the release date. So you can book your tickets. Um, I believe it's going to be like Cine, Cineplex and like that kind of IMAX. like And the... IMAX, yes. Yeah. So those kind of combinations. Uh yeah so look in your local area for the theater that you will get to go to yeah babe uh in april we're going to the movies (laughs) (laughs) it's gonna be movie time there we're going i think you're gonna you enjoy his music you're gonna enjoy it (laughs) i can go by myself if you want um (laughs) probably hear him laughing in the background (laughs) yes uh but yeah so we're gonna be getting that back in theaters it is gonna be the final so uh bring some tissues because honestly i know that entire night i was sobbing my eyes out so anyway 
I'm also so excited, excited because like the members came to all of the final events. I know. So... I'm so excited. I'm That's so why excited. I, I this he's my bias. So this one is non negotiable. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh J Hope, we are counting down to Hope on the Street. That's gonna be coming out soon. I'm so looking forward to this album. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. It's gonna be You guys so know how excited good. I am to the like the collab with Junjin. I mean, we talked about it last week. I'm just like, yeah. I'm just so happy she, she's had a rough start in the mm-hmm. industry, and so I'm just so happy she's finally like getting the recognition. Yeah, deserves. It's gonna be great, and just so like, good. Like, I'm so looking forward to this. Oh my, okay, but like J.K. and J. Hope, like whenever they harmonize too. Oh, like, outro wings. That's all you need to know. Outro wings. Outro wings. I'm sorry if you're currently watching, like, listening without the video, but I was making a lot of, like, hand gestures. <laughs> we get excited here. Um, also, something that, like, dropped okay, out of that, nowhere. Yeah, that one, I mean, it's very Tay. It is very Tay. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Um, so we're getting a single called Friends with the end part of that in brackets, um, it's going to be a love song in the pop soul R and B genre, which is obviously Tay's bread yep. and butter at this point. Um, so we're getting that uh in uh April, I believe. Uh yeah. I think so. But you said coming on Friday. Oh no. I am a liar. Sorry, I was thinking about something else. It's coming next week on the 15th. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, what's coming in April. What's coming in April is a fucking TXT comeback. Yes. There's a lot of things happening here. Okay, so, but yes. April, April, single. April is very TXT coded. Yeah, TXT does they a come, lot of their They come comebacks. back a lot in April. A lot in April. So, Tay Song is going to be released next week on Friday the 15th. It technically, like, in North American time, it'll be released on Thursday at midnight. As we will usual. hope to bring you a video when uh yes. that happens. We will talk logistics and come back to you on that. <laughs> it'll happen. It'll um, happen. It'll happen. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. It really reminds me. I'm I'm interested to see if it's gonna have a connection to Friends, which is a Jimin and V duet that they did together uh, for Map of the Soul Seven. How wild would it be if it had a connection with Love Wins All, though? I don't know. Like honestly, he just does things, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying it could have a connection. It could happen. I don't know. I don't know. Surprise, we get actress IU and the and the MV. I don't know what's gonna be going on. I, I'm just so excited. I can't uh uh wait. Speaking of IU, uh girl's been popping off popping on her, on off. her tour. She has as expected. Yes, because she kicked off her tour uh last week, I believe. Mm-hmm. was the first star of her tour yeah it, she has been killing the game all week long he's uh, been having so much fun yeah all the videos are so, so fun oh. my favorite video is the one where she <laughs> i had to the one where she gets off the stage and all you see is her bodyguard just fucking running because he wasn't expecting of her getting off the stage <laughs> That was was really funny. So funny. And the one where uh, I believe there was one of the sh- at least one of the shows where they technically weren't allowed to record. Right, right. And she saw one of the fan the fan recording, and she just like pointed at her, and she was like, "I got you, boo." <laughs> I love her so much. I love. I we love IU. IU, I love you so much. Yeah, we love you, IU. Uh, TXT. So. Um, happy birthday, TXT! First things first. Yeah, happy birthday. Five uh, years just happened for TXT. Holy moly, five years! I like remember Crown, like the Crown era, so vividly. Yeah, it's insane to see their growth from I'm, that I'm, era to now. I'm it's a little incredible. emotional because TXT is the first group that I followed since their since debut the yeah. it's like 
like I love BTS. I know like I'm a late later game for BTS. Mm. And I mean it's okay. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But there was like the little like something about being there since the beginning mm -hmm. for a group that's just and you're still there like how many years later yeah it's just yeah. like there's just a little oh it's cute oh i'm happy to be here you know <laughs> yeah I'm so just... we're getting a new album uh it's called tomorrow it is uh the third album in the series of albums that we have gotten from them yeah it's the third minisode yeah the third minisode uh series uh we got uh the sort of teaser trailer we also got a concept trailer the concept trailer is so pretty it makes me want to cry it's Them so holding pretty. the fox ah! but also unicar got his like um like eye patch back i know they got there's, the crowns back there's so many like little like hints of stuff in that trailer it's honestly insane and i'm really looking forward it looks sad like i think this album is going to be kind of like more <laughs> do, you, do you think it's going to be like straightforward sad or it's going to be no. typical txt no, it's be like... be typical txt <laughs> okay <laughs> look at the packaging for the album it's like this beautiful like orange have and you, like peach have you concept. seen Ugh. that like the logos are yes. like going back to the old logos yes which i'm like okay so we're gonna get like like crown 2.0 basically do you think this is kind of like Tying, like I know we compare TXT a lot to BTS, but like with yeah. their lore thingy, kind of like tying it back, like it did with the whole like love yourself. Maybe it is a trilogy, so I'm thinking that it's I'm, possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm just throwing it. I'm just throwing bullshit out in the air at this point. There's yeah, like, it, it could happen. I am... like because after that, like for BTS, like the lore wasn't as prominent. No, so. I'm just saying. I don't know. It's but a possibility. I'm forward to it. Yeah. I'm... Pixie never miss. Uh, no. <laughs> Not ever. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, um, especially, like, coming off their last album. I think that this is gonna be, like, maybe something that we haven't, like, seen from them before. It feels like uh, maybe but TXT has been like know. very varied in the genres they go yes. into. Yes, uh, I do hope they do not le lose like their pop rock feel because I love it. I don't it. think I don't think that they will. I think that they've been kind of on this like pop rock train. Yeah, because that's kind of like not. I don't want to say their niche, but I feel like it's the best way that I could describe what I'm yeah. trying to convey. It's like yeah, it yeah. fits their concept really well. It really does. I hope that. And like, their voices. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Their voices were, like, built for rock. Like, yeah. honestly. Like, so good. Um, I am so looking for. I already pre-ordered the album because I was just so excited. I want it so bad. <laughs> Listen. It's also, like, probably one of the prettiest albums we've gotten from Ooh. TXT. Like, it's gorgeous. It's, like, it's hard to be freeze, but, like, I think it uh, did I it. I think it does. I, I honestly, think it did it. I think it does. Like, personally, yeah. I, like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, orange as a color in general, but the way that they used it in this album, I'm just, but like, But also, oh. it's not, it's not a flashy orange. It's kind of more, no, 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 like, no, no, a no. muted, yes. like, really warm. Yeah. Because uh, it's very easy to go highlighter orange, and then you're, like, shit! <laughs> it honestly, you know what, it, okay, this is gonna sound like a weird thing, but it looks like a spell book. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes! It looks like- No, I, I understand you know? what you're trying okay, to say. Okay, okay. Because it has, like, the book bark that's, like, sort of all in this, like, star pattern, and it has a bunch of, like, stars and stuff on but it. But also, it just kind of makes sense, because- yeah. It it does tie into their to lore, the lore, a hundred percent. Them being like wizards and wielding wielding magic and yeah. everything. It just uh, oh, it fits so well. God, no, I agree. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know what's gonna be go like happening, but I'm excited regardless. Cannot wait. Hell yeah! Uh, as usual, don't forget we're still voting on our heart video music awards. As usual, the uh, link in link the description. Is, yeah. All uh, links are in the description. It's pretty Hell cool. yeah. Uh, songs of the week. Songs of the week. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Uh, my BTS this song this week is... Uh, my BTS this my week. My BTS this week. 
<laughs> my bts song this week is uh rain i really like it's it's one of my favorite songs from dark and wild i really just love that song to bits i could listen to it on repeat forever uh it, again it's one of those like b-side tracks that they just they nail yeah it, it just I none of you. them are misses you know uh and my non bts uh song is all day with rm featuring tableau i really i really love this song like i, I don't know like it just makes me happy whenever i listen I know, to it right I'm just like yes get it and i i really love tableau i think like his music is so interesting and unique and having him like a friend of namjoon's like oh on yeah a, on a track like that it just like it's so good it makes it just that much more fun, you know? hundred percent. It, like, elevates it a lot. Like, yeah. Tableau's voice is very, like, unique. I haven't heard a voice like his before, and I think, like, that sort of adds to this, like, layers that All Day has. It's it's really good. I love it. What are your songs this week? One moment. I guess I have a yellow coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My BTS song this week is Euphoria. Oh, Another really like this. Okay, Euphoria. You just knows it's like this one oh, is one of my all time favorites. It's so good, and it makes me think of spring. Like, if yeah. there's a song that like embodies spring, except for spring like, day, even just listening to the instrumental, it's is like yeah. this. It lulls you to sleep. It's like a really 100%. great, like an instrumental that's really great to listen. Yes, to if you're trying to fall asleep. Agreed, hundred uh, percent. And my non BTS song is "Devil," which is an original song by Iron Mouse and Booby. Uh, you guys know how much I love Iron Mouse. She has a great voice. Yeah. And, uh, this song again, uh, uh amazing. Because the, the whole thing, because the whole thing about Iron Mouse is that she is Satan, and Booby is Beelzebub. So you love know. It. Devil. I have gotta have the devil. Uh hell yeah. Uh but those are my songs this week, so you know. Love it. Yeah, Jess was a little surprised I didn't put the seraphim on there, but I was like, I need to at least I shout really am. I mean I need to at least shout devil once. Okay. Because okay. otherwise it's gonna be like smart for like two months back to back. Yeah, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I was just saying that I was shocked. <laughs> Don't worry, it's still there. It's a move. <laughs> Shout out to Sarah for smart. Love like, you, the the MV too. just came out, so I yes. guess go watch that. It's really go, good. Go it's it. really fun. We love a good fun music video. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, this brings us to the end of this week's episode. As you know, we have a new podcast episode coming out every Thursday and a new clip coming out every Sunday at 3 p.m. EST. You can also listen to us on the go, basically on any app where you would listen to your podcast on the go. You can also find us on our social medias at Army Think Tank or at Army Think Tank Podcast. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. On, on that, that note, note have, have a good week. week. And we'll see you guys next Thursday. See you next Thursday. Bye-bye.